I'm about to tell you why this bourbon right here, the 13th Colony Double Oaked, could be the bourbon of the year. All right, today's review is on the 2023 release of the 13th Colony Double Oaked. It comes in at 136.8 proof. Wow, I was so excited that we got this. We got so freaking lucky because we had our computer set to like the atomic clock so we could see exactly when the clock struck like zero, zero, zero. And then we clicked order and we got so lucky and got one. So I am super jazzed that Bill and I got this. And I was only so excited about getting it because I got to try a prior version. I don't know if it was last year's or what, but I got to try a prior version when we were in Michigan visiting the bourbon junkies. We were in the castle and they had one on the shelf and I tried it and it was absolutely fantastic. So freaking good. So now let's dive in to this one right here that I have in front of me and I'm going to tell you my thoughts on it as always. Then I'm going to give you a final score. Holy moly though, this thing is darker than anything I've seen in a long time. Like this is pure darkness. Like it is, hello darkness, my old friend. I don't know if that was even good at all. Anyhow, it is very, 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 very dark. It looks like motor oil. Actually, I don't even know what motor oil looks like. Anyhow, let's dive into this. Cheers to you guys. Thanks for being here. Now let's smell it. Holy moly. That will definitely light up your nose hairs if you're not ready for it. It is one strong puppy. On the nose though, I smell rich, really, really, really rich flavors. The first thing that smacks me in the nose is this cream soda note. Then it goes into like toffee and molasses and thick smelling things like breakfast syrup and just darkness. It smells like a dark, rich thing that you would want in the fall. It smells really oaky also, like really, really oaky. So if you don't like an intense oak smell, don't know if this nose is going to be for you, but let's taste it. Here we go. Woo wee. It's definitely one you're going to warm, want to warm your palate up for. That's for sure. It is very intense and it has a lot of flavors that smack you like right in the face, right away, right on the front of the tongue. There's like a very rich vanilla, molasses, cream soda, super rich cream soda. Like every time I take a sip of this, sometimes it makes me think of light whiskey, not the actual rich flavor molasses, like caramely flavors, but the cream soda note that I get out of this reminds me of a light whiskey. It's very intense in flavor, like super, super intense. It is bold, it's in your face, and it is absolutely fantastic. The finish just goes on for days. I'm still sitting here and I'm thinking about the finish as I'm talking to you. And the finish is like this really, really rich toffee, like caramelly molasses. You know those molasses cookies? Like, I don't know if a lot of people eat these, but I love molasses cookies. And also this really rich note of like gingerbread. We had these gingerbread cookies recently, and this has that really similar taste of like a warm gingerbread cookie. Fan freaking tastic, oaky, rich, vanilla forward. Let me taste it again. Oh, it's fantastic. It even has some like bitter chocolate notes in there. Overall, it's very, 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 very freaking good. I love it. It is one of the best bourbons I've tasted in 2023. It is a double oaked, so if you don't like like really oaky, sometimes it gets a little bit bitter. If you don't like that taste, you probably won't like this. Also, like I said, this is a really, like it's a high proof and it does drink warm. It really does warm your soul when you drink it. So if you don't like those kind of feelings when you're drinking your bourbon, you're probably not gonna like this. But overall, I think people who like double oaks are going to love this. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button, leave a comment. Let me know if you had a chance to get this bottle. Let me know if you like double oaks. I know there are a lot of really good double oaked bourbons out there. Let me know your thoughts on them. I'm gonna give this score of four and a half corks out of five. That's what I think about it. It's really, 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 really good. I still think that Michter's 10 year bourbon is probably gonna top this. And there might be some other ones that I haven't tried yet this year. Now, here's the question that a lot of people ask me. You might be thinking it too. Is this really worth $200? Well, the answer is to me, it is. It is absolutely worth $200. I would pay that 
all day, every day for this bottle. There have been some releases of bourbons this year that have been really hiked up on price and I was like, nope, not a chance. I wouldn't spend that money on them, but this is one of those that I would. Now, I have seen it show up on the secondary market for $500 or more and I, I mean, I gotta leave that one up to you. Do I think it's worth $500? I mean, I don't have that kind of wallet, so that's up to you. Overall, this is a fantastic bottle and I'm so excited and so grateful that we have it. That's all I've got for you today. So I hope you have a fantastic day. I'm Dara, I'm your average drinker and I'll see you next time.